Hello dosto! Welcome to today's video. This video was recommended and I'm going to put the name of the person who recommended it here and I'm going to react to the Asian Indian logic for sequence of weekends. Without wasting much time, let's just go straight into this video. The time of our life is divided into weeks, seven days. Some named after celestial bodies, others after gods. And a very specific sequence which the whole world follows. Have you ever thought about it? Who named the days? Who arranged? Um, guys, sorry for pausing, but one thing. Um, there's a construction going on in, in this building. So I'm sorry if um, the noise is, you know, there is some kind of construction. Um, chiseling sounds and drilling sounds so um, I'm sorry if like you guys hear those noises but other than that I don't think it's it's a big deal so let's just go straight into it arrange them in this way why are there only seven days in a week let's check the internet Egyptians Babylonians uh, Greeks why not we all have been taught how they influenced Indian astronomy. After all, the word hour comes from the Greek hora. Ooh. Not really. There is no evidence for all this. Zero. Those old serious looking dudes didn't do any of it. The West just gave them credit. We believed it without checking. The really? word hour comes from hora. But hora actually comes from the Sanskrit word ahoratra. Oh my god. There's an ancient Indian book. What does it mean? What does it mean? Where's my phone? You know, Google is not giving me a good meaning of this word. Anyways, let's let's just go let's just go into it. There's an ancient Indian book called Surya Siddhanta. Serious work on astronomy. It oh. says arrange the seven grahas, the major celestial bodies visible to the naked eye, from slowest to fastest. Call it the sequence. Make a list of the hours of the day. Start assigning each hour a graha as per the sequence. When you reach the bottom, carry over to the next day. The graha that gets the first hour of the day is called the dinpati. The deity of that graha then also becomes the deity of that day. This is how the days get their Vedic names. And notice the sequence. That's the secret of the sequence of weekdays. Whoa. And the whole world follows it. But why Seriously? is Mangalwar called Tuesday and not Mars Day? <laughs> you see, Guys, Vedic insane. days were named after Vedic deities. When out of India migrations happened, the days went too and got dubbed after the corresponding local deities. Greeks, Romans, Germanic tribes, Anglo-Saxons, and finally, the English names were born. Oh. This is insane. What? <laughs> Guys, you know, it's very important for you to know, you know, to know histories, why this became this, why this became this. Like, history is very good. It's very good. Like, I don't know. I want to say a big shout out to a person who recommended this video. Wow. A thousand years later, the Britishers taught it back to us. But Indian astronomy usually divides the day into 30 muhartas. Where do the 24 hours come from? See, that's what the Greeks gave. Nope. Ooh. Srimad Bhagavatam talks of ancient times when the days were divided into 24 parts, not 30. That's where the word hora gets called as the 24th part of a day, the hour. It's not just Surya Siddhanta or Bhagavatam. Arya Bhatia also talks of the same logic for naming and arranging the weekdays. It seems the Central Board of Secular Education was way too busy in teaching us Greek achievements that it glossed over such mammoth contributions of Vedic Bharat. Let it no longer be lost wow. in narrative wars or remain unacknowledged. The world's days, their names and their arrangement, it's all given by Bharat. Our this is oh my god guys uh, let me put this down guys this is insane what 
Wow, I'm so grateful. Like, I'm learning something new. Like, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm in shock now. Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay. Um, I believe you enjoyed this video like I did. And most of you are going to be shocked. Okay, I just have to close right now. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.